People in the village of Shifnal in Shropshire await the arrival of a rather unusual road user. They'll soon see the fuselage of the VC-10 XR808, who's en route from Leicestershire to her new home at RAF Cosford. Now, the VC-10 is used to carrying troops and their weaponry across the forces world. But this roundabout here may present one of their biggest challenges yet. She is a length of 50 metres and she's trying to get around this roundabout here at the Five Ways in Shifnal. The lorry carrying the VC-10 slowly approaches the roundabout with an escort from West Mercia Police and the Highways Agency. Although this VC-10 holds a blue ribbon for the fastest crossing of the Atlantic by a subsonic aircraft, there'll be no speedy moves here. They almost make the corner but have to mount the curb. Thankfully, the driver is slowly and carefully guided through. Their next challenge is to get under Schiffnell Railway Bridge. After a few manoeuvres, they manage to do it with just a few inches to spare, much to the delight of onlookers. It's absolutely beautiful. It's one of the most gorgeous things. You don't usually get, get to see them that close up, so making a short trip here to see it is well worth it. Absolutely fantastic. It's just the size of it and the, just unbelievable, really. Yeah, we thought it was really exciting. We, we didn't know why the road was blocked. We came out when we saw all the crowds, but it's amazing to see. After a short trip to RAF Cosford, the VC-10, affectionately known as Bob, arrives on the airfield and at her height she could carry over 120 troops and freight weighing over 3,000 stone. And how many VC-10s are left? Flying, zero. That's it, they're all out of service unfortunately now, but that's why it's very, very important for the RF Museum to get one within their collection. The VC-10 will be built by GJD Services at RAF Cosford with help from the RAF Museum. OK, well, when we reassemble it, uh, as you can see behind me, the uh, wings are missing, the tail is missing, the rear fuselage is missing, uh, the engines are missing, the wheels are missing, the undercarriages, so it's a massive task. Uh, we will uh, hopefully have it all done by the end of October, or at least externally complete and watertight, that's the plan. This aeroplane will still be around in 40 or 50 years' time because it's in the RAF Museum, and it will probably be the only example that is. Once the refurb is complete, the VC-10 will go on display later this year. Jesse Arufa-Libs, Forces News in Cosford.